Uncle C back in the office and in today's video I'm going to be dropping some massive gems. This is the 10 laws of female nature and rest assured the context at which I'm going to describe these 10 laws you have not seen anywhere else you cannot find anywhere else and virtually I'm going to be taking each of these points and sub points into lengths and into detail to not only help you assume massive knowledge within female nature, but ultimately to ensure that you are never dumped, heartbroken, cheated on, and you have a frame of reference at every point of a relationship, whether it's an initial approach, maybe a long-term relationship, or even some of you who have consistent girlfriends and whatnot, this is going to help clear up everything. Let's dive in. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Casey Zander. I'm the founder of Headman. I'm here to revitalize masculinity and help make men full stack. So, let's dive into the 10 laws. Number one, okay? Investments do not lead to appreciation. Okay, this one we have to discuss because this is one of the biggest driving factors that I see with men who consistently have bitterness towards the women that they're dating. When I say investments do not lead to appreciation, this is what oftentimes you will see. You will see men consistently who break up with women and they will all say one key thing. They'll say she was so unappreciative. Here's why, okay? Men will oftentimes try to lead the relationship or show attraction or ultimately keep attractions through things that they can do for the woman. Okay, this could be things like, well, hey, you know, I, I took her to Mexico or I took her to Cabo and we, were, we didn't have intimacy ever. We had zero intimacy, not one time. Even when I would try to initiate at night, she would say that she's not in the mood or that her stomach hurts. Now, here's what you have to remember, okay? The man is sitting there going, hey, the investment that I put into this, I spent five grand on airfare, I spent two grand on hotel, I spent a grand on food. Why doesn't that lead to appreciation and attraction. Well, here's what you have to remember. What you have to remember is that her brain does not work the same way yours does, which will bring me right into point number two, okay? The second law of female nature is what makes logical sense in your head as a man for what the woman should be attracted to will never make emotional sense in that woman's heart. I think that you should read that one one more time for yourself, okay? What makes logical sense in your head for how attraction should operate is never going to make emotional sense in that woman's heart. Why do we have to discuss this in such a great detail? Because men will consistently try to use logic and reason to figure out what that woman is thinking or what that woman is feeling and in actuality, it is more often than not completely reverse, okay? If you can just accept this statement, meaning whether, whether you agree with this statement or disagree with it, whether it makes you feel good or it makes you feel bad, if you can come from a place of acceptance and just say this is, that is how the dating game is, that is how things are, you will have a much better time dating and ultimately you will have a much easier time attracting and keeping the types of women that you've always wanted to get. Law number three of female nature, okay? Commitment monogamously destroys intimacy in the bedroom if that's what you're looking for. Even if you're game aware, Okay, you can be the best PUA, you can be the best, you know, you can be great at seduction, you can be great at game, you can be, you can be very attractive physically, but here's the fact, the second that there is any sort of commitment, you destroy the urgency that comes from the woman wondering when is the next time she'll get to see you. See, this is what you have to remember. Logical sense in your head does not make emotional sense in the woman's heart. You would think, hey, we're going to get to spend more time together. Therefore, the more time we spend together, the more opportunities we're going to have for playtime with intimacy. Sadly, this is not how it works. Any sort of commitment, no matter who you are, you can be an NBA basketball player, NFL football player, Hollywood movie star. The second there is commitment, where day to day you two are seeing each other every single day, 24 seven per day, living in the same place together regardless, okay, this is going to destroy the intimacy that you wanted. This is going to destroy the intimacy that you thought was so great in the beginning when you guys did not know when is the next time you get to see each other. Once again, a statement of acceptance. This is something you have to accept. Point number four of female nature, okay, all women are slowly pulled towards some sort of danger or some sort of evil. This is an acceptance statement that must come to the forefront, okay? Why is this? 
Well, women are slowly pulled into these things, slowly enticed. You can be the best guy in the world. You can be the highest value guy in the world. The second that the bad boy comes, there's always going to be that slight anticipation and whether she acts on it or not is going to be her sheer willpower and the degree and the depth of willpower that that woman has. But what you have to know is that just like you're hardwired for that hourglass figure, all, all of them are pulled towards danger or evil. There, there's like a seductive element towards it, almost out of their control. That's just a statement of fact. That's a statement of truth. And that's a statement that you have to accept in order to truly date the correct way. Number five, okay. Women value survival value in a man. Men value the replication or the reproductive value in that woman. What does this mean? Okay. When I say reproductive or replication value is what guys look for. You have to understand your nature and the things you're looking for, the driving factors of your attraction versus the polar opposite and what that woman is attracted to. Okay. When I say reproductive value, when a man sees a beautiful woman or when a man sees certain hourglass figures, certain shapes, certain beauty markers, the first thing he would say to himself is I want to go and get to know her. I want to go see if we have chemistry because that right there is an indicator. Okay. That's raw attraction in the eyes of him. However, retrospect, let's take this on the flip side. What does the survival value of that woman mean when she feels attraction? Well, survival value is things like how well is he equipped socially? Does he have social calibration? If he walks into a bar, restaurant, club, whatever the case may be in his hometown, is there other men that instantly flock towards him and want to know, want to know him, want to meet him, want to carry conversation with him? These are going to be indicators of survival. Here's why this is so important because if you, if you look at biology, if you look at how humans were hundreds of years ago or thousands of years ago, if you did not have social status in the community that you were in, there's some bad things that could happen. There could be non-acceptance. You could be excluded from the community. You could be excluded from any of the people that you, that you're surrounded with. Okay. The men who consistently had best bets for survival were the ones of status. And because that's wired so deep through hundreds of years or even thousands of years, you have to understand that your triggers for attraction are going to be polar opposite. And that's okay. These statements of fact, when you actually understand them will serve you far better than fighting them tooth and nail. Number six, six law of female nature. All love is conditional. There is no such thing as unconditional love. As soon as that person changes, as soon as the terms and conditions of that relationship changes, as soon as what it is today that it was not three months ago or put whatever date in there that you need, okay, the conditions for how that love is going to change. You consistently see people opt into a relationship. They put on masks or they put on certain disguises as to show who they want that person to appear them to be over time, you start to see the true them. And all of a sudden the conditions for love are the conditions for those emotions that had you hooked or had her hooked in the beginning will consistently change. Number seven, just because a woman is attractive in your eyes does not make her good by default. And this does not make the woman high value. Okay. There is so many men who they look at an indicator of beauty or attractiveness. They see shape. They see person. They, they, they see, they see that maybe, maybe it's the way that the, her, the woman's voice sounds. They instantly will assume this with the word good. Oh, she's so good. That's a good one. That has nothing to do with if the woman is good or if the woman is high value. The things that you're actually wanting, wanting to look for is a sense of loyalty, right? Does the woman know how to be feminine towards you to make you feel great? Right? Is she bringing lots of good emotion to the table? Is there things that she's doing for you? So that way the relationship cohesion is stable. See, these are the things that you have to actually ask yourself. There's far too many men. They put up with tone of voice with the companion that you're, they're talking to. That's aggressive. That is, it, it just brings toxicity or turmoil, but they willingly stay because of lack of options. Okay. Just because you find a woman beautiful or attractive, it does not necessarily make the relationship good. And it does not necessarily mean that there's any sort of high value traits there. Number eight. Okay. Women look for different men at different stages of life. Okay. Learn this and adapt to this. What you will notice when you are younger is that things like short term status, short term attractiveness, or the type of guy who is most popular that instantly is going to get the woman hooked. However, as you 
progress through life, what you're going to see is all of a sudden there's a checklist, right? And what that checklist is, is, is this guy what he says he will be in the future? Is this guy going to potentially provide? These things are natural and these things are normal. And instead of hating the game, what you must do is adapt your game to fit that strategy, depending on the age of the companion that you're interacting with. This eighth law will save so many men heartbreak and headache from understanding how to navigate the game. And here's why you will see men consistently. They'll say, Oh, when I was younger, I was able to pull so many dates. However, there's guys who they'll say, ah, in my age, I'm able to pull so many dates. But for some reason, when I was younger, I wasn't right. The fact is that the reason those things are happening is because of the companion that they're talking to, not because of them. What that means is the different stages of progression is going to dictate your success. The only key is you actually understanding what that woman is looking for at the exact time to match it or to portray a sense. So that way there's cohesion between both of you. Number nine, attention is everything to a woman. Your attention in any way, shape or form is exactly what they're after. And the second that you give that attention, not only is the attention typically a downgrade, not only is the attention typically worth less, but what you're going to notice is that the attention you can actually use as a tool like a faucet when there's good behavior. Sure, we're giving lots of attention. When there's bad behavior, that faucet starts to close and the attention dries up. That means fewer text messages, fewer conversations, shorter text messages, less engagement. Those things actually show that you know how to value your worth as a man. And the 10th is understand the statements of belief that hold you back. Okay, what is a statement of belief? Here's what a statement of belief is. If you have a statement of belief and you have a guy and he says, Hey, she's not my soulmate or she isn't the one for me, or she is the one for me. These are statements of belief. Okay. When you speak something into existence, you have the choice to believe if that's true or not. What I would highly recommend is every statement of belief that you put out into the world, you, my friend have to identify if this is the right statement of belief for you. And ultimately, if this belief is serving you, or if this belief that you find to be true is actually false or is a wolf in sheep's clothing that's holding you back. Guys, if these 10 points resonated, I highly recommend doing two things. The very first thing I highly recommend doing is going down below and checking out the MBT webinar shop brand new for 2022. In that you're going to learn the four keys that it takes to master masculine behavioral techniques to have dating success once and for all. Secondly, if you're looking to work one to one with me this month, we actually do have a few spots open inside of my men's full stack mentorship. You can go down below and book a call with my brother Cole for that. Last but not least, the Headman Nation newsletter. You are 100% going to want to opt in and subscribe to that newsletter to be updated on a weekly basis of all things Headman. Hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.